The five comebacks for people who talk behind your back. We often keep secrets about things we hold dear to us as mundane humans. Though there is usually one circle or one individual we often share these secrets and views with. We often tell them these because we trust them. We often share our secrets and views with them, maybe because they're good listeners or share trust and enjoy talking with each other. Only that there are times you'd hear the things you told some of them behind your back and you'd feel backstabbed. So I highlight five comebacks for people who talk behind your back. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell for updates. 1. Pay less attention to the people who talk behind your back. At times, the people who sit back and talk about you are better than who don't know much about you but imagine fables about you so they can have something to talk about. It's not that they necessarily have your secret or you said anything to them. They just want to gossip. Then it only means I'm two steps ahead or better of. So, for such people, pay less attention to them. 2. Go for stillness and stay composed. Staying composed with gossip and backstabs tend to be helpful when we discuss things we thought were right by our opinion, only to find that we were wrong. And maybe before we can resolve what we said, it's already spread everywhere. We all know that what's said can't be unsaid. Instead, you'd only try to defend yourself. The statement that everyone's entitled to an opinion but it doesn't make them right can serve helpful to keep this still grounds. Learn what you need to know. 3. Stay bold and accepting. We are all mundane and not necessarily flawless, so we often make mistakes. This is a mindset to keep when things are said behind you. It may be what you discussed with a friend about someone, or what you had in mind to implement, which you often hear others talking about. Just remind them that mistakes are inevitable, and you've said what you've said already. What matters is that we learn from the misfortune of the event, and strive to avoid its repetition. 4. Take advantage of it. You can do this only when it's gossiping, which is not necessarily true, and it affects you because you find yourself thinking of it and how it can adversely affect you. But depending on the topic, take advantage of it. For instance, make the gossips feel like they're making you famous for all the things they're saying behind you, because they are. So since they're not of goodwill, they will chronologically withdraw. 5. Confront them. Confrontation is what you do when rumors about you are flying around and you don't necessarily know who started it or who's behind it, but you have a suspect. You can decide to go for this, a face-to-face -face confrontation with the gossip so you can share dialogue and you clear yourself. Also, while doing so, remember that you always have an opinion on how you live your life, so don't try to fit into what they want you to. Stand your ground. Please, let us know your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. Thanks for watching this video.